this is just way, way, way too much food. It's like literally scattered in bits and pieces all around me. Uh, but yeah, hi, hello, it is me, Jake Baller here. And today, as you can see, I am back with another ASMR mukbang video, 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 video. And boys, this is a fun one. Jake, what's so fun about this one? It's just another you eating video, blah, blah, blah. Well, this one is actually not me in my own choosing. It's actually chosen by you. Well, some of you, the people who actually contributed to the video, uh, I asked you guys what I should order for a mukbang. I said I was going to Taco Bell, closed my eyes, and told you guys to pick my food. And boy, did you guys pick. Uh, I'm eating stuff that I've never even heard of, some new stuff they have on the menu, some stuff I've just never seen before, and something I've had before that I super enjoy, that I'm very happy that a lot of you guys picked. And I am excited, scared, nervous, but uh, most importantly, I'm hungry, so let's actually get into tonight's video. But first, make sure, of course, you guys like, 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 like the video. Let me know that you guys like this new concept. I'm always trying to do new things with these mukbang videos. I've done so many different variations of them. If hopefully you guys enjoy it, you'll let me know so we can keep doing them. If not, maybe I'll just stop doing mukbang videos, but I really like this idea. And yeah, comment down below, maybe your go-to Taco Bell order, what food place I should do next. Should we do a, you know, on my subscribers pick my meal at McDonald's or Chick-fil-A, Burger King, KFC, or I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Well, uh, of course, I think we should start this how we always start these. If I do get a beverage, I show up the beverage first. And yes, of course, I took your guys' recommendations on the beverages. And a lot of you asked for a Baja Blast Freeze. 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 For some reason, they were not doing it <laughs> when I went. Uh, when I ordered, when I was ordering online, it didn't It didn't come up. I tried. I tried to wait. I tried to close my app and try it again. Blah, blah, blah. They just weren't doing the Baja Blast Freezes. But some of you also did say due to a just regular Baja Blast. Which, of course, I'm not going to say no to that. Yeah, guys, I'm super excited about this video idea. I think we can really do this with anything. Of course, I'd probably do it for more, like, well-known sort of establishments like McDonald's. I think would be an easy second one to do this if you guys wanted to. It is really interesting to see what you guys like and what you guys want me to eat, whether it's something disgusting, something new, something different, something I've had before and you want to see more of it. Something like that. Anyways, cheers. Just so delicious, the Baja Blast from Taco Bell. I've had like their regular canned Baja Blast. It definitely is not the same as the one straight from Taco Bell. And the first food, the first, the first, the first food option we have here is a recommendation that I am kind of cutting down just a little bit because I don't think we really need two of them. And I've never had them before because no doubt, why would I order this? But someone wanted me to eat a cheesy roll up from Taco Bell, which of course I do have. They wanted me to get two of them, which I'm not gonna get two of them. They're just cheesy tortillas, but I'm interested to see how they look and how they taste, because they are just cheese and tortilla. Sarah ASMR, who is a great ASMR content creator. If you haven't seen any of her 
her stuff. Please go and check out her stuff. Her stuff is amazing. Uh, but she wanted me to try their new, um, I think it's called the Cantina Taco. I'm very interested to see what it even is. I haven't, I didn't really like look too much into it. I just kind of picked it out and ordered it. I have no idea what's really on it, what it's going to look like. I know it comes with like a green salsa verde, salsa, salsa verde sauce. Oh, actually, no, it is a avocado salsa verde. Whoa, that is interesting. Um, Sarah did tell me that I needed to get side sauces and stuff, but again, um, I didn't see it when I was ordering the food, like where you get like the side sauces at. But one of the sauces she recommended to me does come on one of the tacos that I got also, so I'll still be trying the sauces, don't worry. Oh, wow, this thing looks wild. <laughs>
quesadilla type thing. I guess it, maybe it is just a, no, it's definitely a quesadilla because there's cheese connected to the, uh, the outer shell. I'm getting bits and pieces of that sauce that's really good. Um, I've seen TikToks before of people putting these in the oven. 
not a lot of the filling in this one, but very heavy on the cinnamon and sugar. But still really good. That is it. That is the my subscribers, you guys. Well, some of you guys told me what to get for an ASMR mukbang. Now, of course, get your guys' food. Of course, I'm going to give it a rating and a ranking against each other to see how good this food really was. And I'm sorry to sort of put people on blast. Hey, it's, you guys told me to order it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you if it was good or not. So the worst thing that we had on the menu today was sadly the grilled cheese burrito. I think that might have been one of the fattiest things I've ever had at Taco Bell ever. It was just a, a beef stick. Like it was just beef and cheese. That was basically it. Add little sprinklings of rice and a little bit of sour cream, but like that thing was just heavy beef and cheese. So I guess if you're into that, that's totally fine. But I thought it was gonna be a little bit more, almost like I don't want to call it like a quesadilla X thing, but I think of a grilled cheese burrito, you know. I think that's something a little bit nicer than that, and that was definitely not it. So yeah, I think that is the worst thing we had today. I think right above that is just gonna be the cheesy roll up because it is just a cheesy roll up. It's just cheese and a tortilla. It just tasted like one of their regular cheese quesadillas, which I guess this would be cheaper of an option just to get one of these instead of getting an actual quesadilla. The nice thing above that, kind of sadly, was the uh, Doritos Gordito Crunch. Um, man, I was actually super excited to eat one of those, at least in front of you guys, because I had them before, obviously on my own. Not all the time, because again, they are ridiculously expensive for just a regular taco, but this one just wasn't hitting. Uh, it tasted fine, it tasted okay, but like the, the quality of the taco was really poor. Um, it was very mushy there, it didn't really get much crunch. The outer sort of layering of the tortilla is amazing. I love that part of the gordita, that little like quesadilla aspect of it, but yeah, not, not the best one. It, didn't, it wasn't bad, it was definitely delicious. I ate all of it, but nothing I'm gonna be, you know, super excited to have again. But I'm definitely gonna have it again. Uh, and then the next thing above that is going to be, well, besides the Baja Blast, the Baja Blast is obviously the best thing. I love Baja Blast. Uh, you know what? I think I am gonna give it to the Cinnabon Delights right above that. The Cinnabon Delights are absolutely delicious. But the best thing I think we had today was the thing I tried for the first time, actually. It is the uh, Cantina Taco. That thing is really good. And I think it could even be better. I think I even almost had, like, not a bad one, but not a great one. I think even got this thing, like, really, really cooked to, like, you know, sometimes fast food places really make their food really good for some odd reason. Sometimes, if you can catch them doing that with this, that could be a banger of a taco. And even just what it was right now, it was really good. And that uh, avocado verde sauce was really flavorful and really, it, it, it was like made for it. It, it just uh, elevated it to a a, a pretty decent taco. Like, again, it almost felt like a taqueria style taco. So, Jake Paul or ASMR, what are you gonna give a rating of this meal that your subscribers picked for him on a scale from 1 to 10? How did you guys do today? You know what? I think for a vast majority of the things that I've had before and the new things that I tried that I liked, I think it definitely outweighs the things that I didn't really enjoy all that much. I'd probably give this like a solid 7 out of 10. I think it's a solid up, above average sort of experience. I definitely had more fun than I thought I was going to, and I enjoyed the things I didn't think I was going to. Some things were mid, some things I'm never going to get ever again, but things that I did like, I really, really did like, and I will be ordering that again. Thanks to you guys. Yeah, with that being said, um, make sure you guys, of course, like, 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 like the video. If you did like the video, if you like this idea and you want to contribute next time, all you have to do is subscribe, look out for my community post. I'll probably be doing a lot more of these again if you guys enjoy these. It's completely up to you guys, but I love doing like these community sort of posts where you guys get involved with a lot of the things that I get to do. You can also comment other restaurants that I should try or just other foods I should try on the channel, anything like that. I'm always up for recommendations, but yeah, I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, and I'll see you again.